What's going on YouTube? It's DJ Show One King Legend coming at you here with another one. Alright, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna test out the Rockville PPA 52. Alright. You see that? Alright, we're gonna hook this bad boy up, check it out. Brand new. I haven't put it in yet, I haven't tried it out. So what this is is a Bluetooth preamp. All right, and it also has USB. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this up only using the outputs, and I will use the input as USB or Bluetooth. All right, so I'm gonna check this out, see how it is. But um, first thing I see that I don't like with hooking this up is it has feet on it, all right? so. These are not um, easily screwed out. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way how to get these off and, um, and mount it up properly. But for right now, I'm just gonna set it in there and hook it up and see what it do, all right? So you can stay through the process or fast forward, however you like. All right, watch me hook this up. All right, so I already got the rack pulled up. I'm gonna go ahead and set it right here. Because see what happens with the feet, you can't line it up as perfect one space. All right, it's about a one and a half. So the screw holes won't line up as you need them to. All right, so it's pretty much off and it kind of kills the next space up. So you have to get rid of the feet if you want it to be perfect, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and just set it in there for now. Might just put two screws just for the hell of it, just to hold it in. Because I hate when I'm putting the plugs in and the equipment is sliding forward. So I'm going to go ahead and just put uh, two screws just to hold it in place, all right? So as I said, they won't line up perfectly. All right, so I'm just gonna put them in, just for the moment. All right, just to hold it in place. Right, I think I have the power adapter right here. All right, so there we have it. This is a, a quick hookup, nothing long. Because what I'm going to do is take the output from the mixer and put, put it right into the output of the preamp. So hopefully with this, I'll be eliminating the mixer, alright? Because for what I'm doing, I really don't need the mixer. Just for one, one input. I'm trying to kill several birds here with one stone, alright? By eliminating the mixer, I don't have to use the RCA uh, plugged into my tablet or USB vice versa. All right, I can just go straight from that preamp and I am good. All right, so let me go ahead and plug this in. All right, show you how easy this is. Yeah. All right, so plug in my power. All right, and there you have it. So I hooked up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and see what it looks like. All right. Have it set to interface. All right. Okay, I'm gonna turn that on and see what it looks like. All right. Let's see. All right. Power. Yeah, what's going on here? Make 
sure I have that plugged in right. Okay, that wasn't plugged in right, so there we go. All right. All right, so this is all new to me as well. All right, looks good. Let's go with the loudness, of course. All right. if I can find the Bluetooth. See the signal there. Let's see if I find it here. Of course my tablet wants to restart. I would use the USB but uh, I'm scared of copyright issues. So on that. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Let's see what comes up. Okay, on the Bluetooth device, you can see Rockville right there, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And it says pairing. Let's see if it pairs right away. It says Bluetooth pairing request pair with Rockville. Yes, pair. And let's see what goes on. Okay, so that's no longer blinking. That BT is no longer blinking, so that means I'm connected. Now what I'll do is go to my um, to my music source and see what's up. These songs are not copyrighted. These are uh, from YouTube, so I can play anything on here. Um, so we'll go ahead and try and see how this um, plays. All right. So let me turn these amps on. So, as you can see, I haven't tried anything. Alright, All right, so. I have the two macro techs and the CVR playing. Alright, so this is playing highs and horns, and this is playing the uh, 12 inch mids. And this is playing the 215s and the 218s, alright? So, I'll go ahead and see what this thing can do, alright? Alright, so. Let's adjust the volume here. Try to make sure everything is down. Well, I'll go ahead and hit play, and all hell breaks loose. All right, so let's go ahead and play one of these. All right. Let's see if anything is coming up. All right, so we got some signal here. its own dedicated knob for the Bluetooth. Of course I can control it here also from the tablet. Alright, so alright, so this is nice. I have my bass, I have my mids, highs, balance. Alright. Alright, so that's 
much almost like a mixer. This, this is pretty much is doing everything this was doing, all right, with the uh, two channels or whatever the case may be. So um, I have no use for using this anymore. The only thing I'm going to miss on here is the reverb. I like the reverb. All right, so and as I said, I can also plug a USB right here into this port also, all right? So I'm not going to do that because I don't have any YouTube safe songs on that as yet. But, um, yeah. This sounds good right here. I can work with this, alright? This, this is in the garage, my workout area, whatever the case may be. You know, I'm not doing any shows with this. This is just for home use right now. So, this is perfect, alright? So, I'll go ahead and play this. <laughs> unboxing video and check it out and see uh, you know everything on the back but uh, right here you have your master volume your balance your treble your mid your bass all right you have your control for your mic input right which is right here you have your headphones they have your, whole, uh, your own dedicated volume for the headphones which is nice um, here you have your USB input which you can use your uh, search features for the USB plug. All right, and here's your power button here. Here's your selection for your input. All right, I have it set to interface, uh, BT, which is uh, Bluetooth. All right, you just set it to interface. Uh, you can also go to line one, all right, which is on the back. You can go to auxiliary. Uh, auxiliary 2, auxiliary 3, and you also have a phono input, alright, so you can also hook up turntables to this or whatever the case may be, alright, so this is a nice unit right here, alright, um, I'm really liking that. So as I said, I don't have to use my mixer anymore, and um, that's perfect, alright. So um, another thing I want to talk about is uh, bass, bass processors, alright, so um, I don't know if I should do a separate video for that. I just wanted to talk about these um, two bass processors. Alright, let me play a little bit of music here. I'm going to find something interesting. Alright, so I want to talk about bass processors, right? So now, a lot of people, they will use or claim to use the, the DBX drive rack and they will use the subharmonic uh, synthesizer that is built into here, which is a bass processor, and they will feel as if they don't need anything else for a bass production, right? So I'm going to tell you 
that if you don't know, you just don't know, all right? But you can't beat it when you add a separate dedicated base enhancer, all right? The subharmonic synthesizer that's in this DBX is nothing compared to even the BBE or this bad boy over here, okay? The Afix exciter with big bottom, all right? The base synthesized processor that's in here is nothing compared to these two devices, okay? I don't like the base processor that's in here, okay? To me, it's, it's useless, all right? It's, it's garbage, it's trash. This boy right here brings your base to life, okay? So I did have this up for sale, but um, upon thinking, because people don't want to pay what an item is worth, they want to pay what it was priced at once in time. But now anyone who's into the sound system world, they know that this device right here is very hard to find right now. Why? Because anyone who has one is not selling it. They're holding on to it. So I'm having a change of heart, and I'm thinking about not selling this anymore, okay? Because I believe this piece of unit right here should be sold for no less than $1,000, okay? All right. Now mind you, yeah, it probably was about $300 brand new, $400 brand new. But because of the rarity of it, this device right here should be no less than $1,000. Okay, if people are willing to pay $1,000 for a 3BX, DBX processor, all right, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to want to pay $1,000 for this Apex Exciter, okay? So I'm going to say the BBE is okay. It's good for, you know, cleaning up your base and tightening up a little bit. You know, it definitely enhances your highs and, you know, gives it that crisp sound, that clean sound. It refines your music or whatever the case may be. All right? But the Afix is times three of the type of bass that you can get from this machine, okay? This thing right here, I believe, I'm not going to say it's the number one bass processor because I haven't tried the Storm, all right, bass uh, generator or the Cosmos PV, but I believe this is better than the Cosmos PV, okay? So, when people are saying, oh, all you need is your drive rack and your amplifiers and your mixing board, that's trash, that's nonsense. Yes, it will play. You will get your regular bass, you will get your regular everything, okay? But if you want to put some steroids on your bass, you add one of these boys right here, and I guarantee you, it will bring your subwoofers to life, okay? Now, these are very hard to find, so if you grab one, all right, be willing to pay a prepaid for them, all right? So as I said, I had mine listed, and I think I'm gonna remove it, because why? Because this thing right here is a valuable piece of equipment, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the rack, all right, where it belongs, okay? I have a lot of equipment. So because you don't see me with something doesn't mean that I can't get it or I can't afford or whatever the case may be. I only buy what I, what I want and what I need. And I really don't need half of this stuff. I just buy things just to buy them, all right? So because you don't see me with power soft and whatever the case may be, K20s, K40s, all that nonsense, I don't need it. I really don't need it. I have so many amplifiers that I'm just like, just willing to sell a whole lot of it, okay? So because I don't have it doesn't mean that I can't get it or I can't afford it. All right, it's just because I don't need it, all right, or I have no care for it, all right? So right now, I only have the things that I want to have to just for my home use, okay? So there you have it, all right? So take heed and get yourself a nice base synthesizer and add it to your drive rack, all right? The one inside is okay, but if you want to really bring your subs to life, you add one of these guys right here, okay? Or get yourself a Storm, or even a PV Cosmo, all right? And you won't go wrong, all right? So um, take it from me, all right? Try it and test it. All right, so on that note, I'm gonna sign out. All right, so this right here is worth the money. I'm already impressed, all right? I've already eliminated my mix-up, so with that, I'm happy.
bass on here. I'm just gonna throw that out there. So uh, the mixer bass did sound better, but I'm gonna solve that by putting in my Apex, and that will solve that problem, okay? So uh, anyway, on that note, DJ Show on King Legend, I'm out. So, I would say with the mixer, gave me a better drive with the bass, but um, it's okay. It's not bad, but it's not the way I'm used to having it, alright? So, like I said, now I have the AFIX hooked up, and I should get 100% closer to the bass that I like, alright? So, I'm going to let you see uh, how with just the preamp and the drive rack, how the bass sounded if you listen with headphones, all right? Compare that to now, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and play and see. I have no wires. I am playing the sound system with Bluetooth, okay? So, here we go, all right? All right, as I said, this is one of my favorite songs. So now use some headphones. And you can hear how the bass sounds now hear how the bass sounds now before I paused it with just using the preamp with now that I have the AFIX hooked up okay so a lot of people will say all you need is just a drive rack and your mixer and your amplifiers and you're good that's nonsense okay I tell you just like it is you add one of these it's like adding 10 guys to push a car versus one okay you will hear the difference. Use some headphones and you will hear the difference in the tightness of the bass and the power that comes out of your subwoofers, okay? As you can see, you can see the 18-inch the right there in the view. All right, that's the RCF uh, 400 right there. All right, 2,000 watts, okay? I'm using a CVR on one side and I'm using the other side to play the 215s, okay? So we'll go ahead and start this over. All right. Okay.
didn't even have to touch the base on the preamp anymore. It is still very low. All right, not even a quarter. And all the base was coming out of the Aphex. All right, so to DJ Show One King Legend on another one. I hope you learned something. Please share the knowledge. All right, please like the videos. I don't ask for anything. Just like and share the videos to show your support. If I've helped at least one person, all right, my job is done. All right, so possibly catch you on another one. All right, DJ Show One King Legend. 2023, all right? I'm out.